Well, hello, y'all, and welcome back to Apron Strings. I am um, going to make some breakfast tacos. My grandkids love them, and it's something they can pull out of the refrigerator and heat up and uh, make them a bite to eat when they get up if April doesn't feel like fixing something. So I'm going to tell y'all what I usually do. I usually use about 20 large eggs, and I use a pound of of your choice of sausage and I brown it. Now if it was for me, I'd put bell peppers, onions, and a little bit of potatoes in it, but I'm making them plain. So it's sausage that you brown and add the eggs to it and let it cook. And then I sprinkle a little cheese in it and toss it and let it melt. And then I put some on the top and I put a lid on it. And that cheese melts and kind of molds everything together. And then I cut it and roll it up in the flour tortillas and um, I leave them on the rack till they kind of cool and then I try to wrap them individually in saran wrap or plastic wrap and that way they can just pull one at a time out and use what they want. So I'm going to bring y'all over here. First of all I'll brown off the sausage and I'll show you what I'm doing in the skillet and then we'll get our eggs whipped up to add to it. I'm probably going to add some onion and garlic powder. Y'all know me. But I'm not going to add the actual vegetables. So anyway, let's get these uh, breakfast tacos made where those kids will have something that they can. And see, my chickens are laying most days at least five eggs. We can't eat that many, so I'm going to use up 20 of them right here. Fast and in a hurry, and some of them are plum orange. The yolks are so dark. I just love it. But anyhow, y'all come on over here, and I'll uh, let you watch me brown the sausage a little bit, and then I'll add the eggs, and we'll get the breakfast tacos made. And y'all can make some this weekend for your family if you want to. Okay, I know this is not rocket science, but you'd be surprised at the younger cooks that buy these at your little drive-in groceries and different places, but they've never made them at home. So we're going to make breakfast tacos. So that's one pound, and I've used Owen's regular sausage. You can use hot sausage. You can get links and uh, open them up. You can add some bacon bits. All kinds of ways to dress it up. But these are just going to be sausage and egg and cheese uh, breakfast tacos. So I just break it up in pieces and let it brown. And then I'll get most of the grease out that I can. And then I'll add the eggs and let them mix with it and scramble. And then we will add a little cheese to it and put the cheese on top. And then I'm going to put the lid on it and let the cheese melt to where it'll be easier to just cut it and put a long rectangle of it on my flour tortillas. Now this pan that I'm using is one of my favorites and I haven't had it even a year yet but it's a scan pan and I've told y'all about it. I got it when I was working at Sur La Taube. You can use metal utensils and it does not scratch it. It's made, I forgot what it's made from but they said that uh, it won't peel off like your traditional non-stick pans. There's a few, there's a little protocol to it. You don't cook on a real high heat with it. You don't spray it, which you shouldn't spray any of your non-stick with kitchen sprays because they have something in them that will um, kind of not dilute, but I don't know the word I'm hunting, that messes up your, your non-stick. So let's just, I've got this on a medium heat. I'm just going to let this sausage brown and we'll be back and see what we do next. I don't know if I told y'all or not, but I generally use one pound of sausage and I use 20 eggs. I think I did tell y'all that, 18 to 20. And that generally gives me 20 breakfast tacos. So you can kind of go by that to see how much uh, that you want to cook. You might want more sausage in yours and use 10 eggs. But the flavor is very good, and it stretches it, and it goes further. I'm going to add a half teaspoon of garlic powder, and I'm going to add a teaspoon of onion powder. Well, actually, what I use is, when I say powder, it's granulated, okay? So I'll add some granulated onion powder also. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a few cranks of black pepper. This is my handy pepper grinder that I got from Sir La Taube that you just, it's a racket. So easy. And I just ratcheted it right outside of my skillet here. And 
Now I will add a little bit of salt because the eggs need a little bit of salt and then if somebody wants to salt it more they can open it up and do whatever they want Usually to. Usually whip these with milk or water or anything like that. My bunch likes it better when I just put the eggs in, old fashioned scrambling them around in the sausage and um, then right when they're getting done I add my cheese. Then I'm going to wrap my tortillas in wet paper towel and I will put them in the microwave for about a minute. That will make them soft and pliable where I can roll them up. But this is a good, if your kiddos like sausage and eggs, this is an easy breakfast. You know, while they're out of school, it's going to be a long summer. So this will make it easy for them to have something to go in and get and heat up and uh, you won't have to be fixing breakfast all the time. Now what I'm fixing to do now, I'm going to go ahead and put my eggs in and I'll probably get one of the whisk over here so I can stir them around real good once I get them in here. But I'm going to put in all of my eggs, pop those yellows, and just stir them into the sausage. Now I'm just going to let those cook. And then in a minute I'm going to add in some of the, you know I usually buy the Mexican blend cheese and um, I just slide them until I you know get most of it done. I love this pan because it just doesn't stick bad. I'm going to get these pretty well cooked and I'll bring y'all back. I'll add the cheese and we'll be ready to roll them up and show you what I do with them. When they get just, there's just barely damp that's when I come in with about a cup of cheese and sprinkle it around and I'm going to stir it in to where it will glue it all together but then I will come back and I'll put some on the top. But as they finish cooking I'll have cheese all in among them and not just on the top when I take them out to roll in the tortillas. And we like a soft scramble anyhow. We don't want them all just totally dry like little pieces of rubber. So. When it gets to this, I'll try to just kind of flip it and let that that's on the top cook a little bit more. And I'm ready to turn the heat off and um, smooth it out. And then I'll put my cheese that I want on the top. And I'm just going to let that, uh, I'm going to sprinkle some salt on it. Turn the fire out. I'm just sprinkling a little bit of pink Himalayan salt over the top. I don't want to get them too salty. Nobody likes too much salt on their eggs. Maybe a little more black pepper and then I'll add the cheese. You have, you, you have to remember and count in the fact that your cheese is salty. So. My motto is you can't get too much black pepper, but everybody don't like my motto. Okay, I'm just going to make sure I have cheese all over the top. Y'all hear a buzz going on. Troy has worked on our weed eater. When he, he generally can fix anything, but if something comes up that he doesn't, he's stumped a little bit. He just gets on YouTube and finds a video and learns all, how to do it. Okay, I, I don't put, y'all may think that's a lot. I don't think that's a lot. I just kind of cover it. Then I'm going to let it steam until the cheese melts and then we'll put it in the tortillas. Okay, I just wet my paper towels and uh, squeezed it out. And I'm just going to take my tortillas and kind of wrap them up in these damp towels. I'm going to put them in the microwave for a minute and let them steam and get soft enough that they won't break when I roll them up. And I'll be back and show y'all. Okay, I want to oh, show y'all. See how the cheese has melted all over the top of the eggs? That's what I like for it to do because I can just take this and cut it and put some of it uh, into my tortillas. What I do is I just take my spatula and cut me some loose. And see it stays, it's, it holds its shape. 
and I put it on my tortilla. I know it's not rocket science, but it's something that everybody may not know how to do. And so it, I tuck the first part under and just keep rolling it up. And then I put it on my rack over here, on this rack, and until they get uh, set. So I'll get me this bunch right here for this one. And I don't always get exactly 20, but I can kind of count on getting uh, 20 of them out of this bunch of eggs and sausage and cheese. You know, I'd rather get less and then be fat and full and very filling than to make skimpy ones that you're still hungry when you get through eating. I mean, when you eat at my house, I want you to be satisfied with what you've had. And that stuff's hot. Okay, I'm going to keep making them, and I'll uh, bring y'all back here in a little bit, and we'll see how many I get out of this. It would really be good if I'd have took time to make homemade uh, flour tortillas, and I'll do that one day, but... I'll tell y'all, I've been on a run today. I went to Kroger because they had chuck roast on sale. I told y'all they were going to be on sale. And I'm trying to get a little bit of meat ahead because I'm just, I've already seen the prices going up. And I want to be sure that I have meat for my family. So, I went and picked me up some roast. Sometimes when they limit you to two, I just go to the next store or go out and go back in because I wanted to get, I wanted four of them. And they're $2.97 a pound this week. So that's a, that's a good price. And they'll be on through Tuesday if y'all need some meat. Now I'm going to turn the camera off and I'm going to finish the rest of these and I'll be back and show you in a minute. Okay, here's the breakfast tacos and I got 20 exactly. And I did taste of the uh, egg mixture and it is delicious. I'm going to let them cool and then I'm going to wrap them in the Y'all, this is an easy thing to do. And they just they just stay together so good and make a, a good breakfast. I like to have some fruit to go with them because you've already you don't need bacon. You've already got the sausage in them. So if you have a little bit of fruit to go with them, it's just a very good breakfast. You might already do it. You might say, girl, you're wasting your time. But if there's one person that hasn't made homemade breakfast burritos or breakfast tacos, whatever you want to call them, um, you need to try it. Now, the sausage was like $3.99. And my eggs came from my chickens. But you can get 18 eggs for like $1.60 something at Kroger's. So, say, for, for $6, you've got $20 worth of breakfast tacos here. Well, the cheese. You have to count some cheese in. But you're still saving a lot of money if you make your own at home. And I'm all about saving money here so I can get something else I want over there. It's a good idea. Um, I'll be back again on Tuesday, and I hope to have a casserole. I've got one that I'm wanting to make. been hungry for it. So probably, but don't hold me to it, we'll probably have a good casserole on Tuesday. I hope y'all are watching the sale papers and getting a little extra stuff at your house. So, you know, if you're in the hurricane area, we're fixing to start hurricane season. And don't take things for granted. You know, I remember one time we were without electricity for two weeks. And we would go to town and go through the line and they would give us ice. And one lady uh, would be there with light bread. But it was tough. If you didn't have your spam and your stuff at home that you could use, and you need to have a generator and have gas ready to go, we have generators. So Troy keeps our refrigerators and our freezers running. And he can uh, run the water well off of a generator if he needs to. But out here, um, I guess we're a little better off than people in town because he can hook the generator up where the whale will run and we can get some water but it, hurricane season's scary to me and it goes from June the 1st to November and they're predicting a bad one so guess what I'm trying to get a few little things in the pantry they don't need refrigerating that I can pull out and feed us if I need to y'all 
learn to be a little bit prepared for whatever life brings and uh, you'll be a lot happier while you're going through the trial. The good Lord bless and keep y'all and uh, make your family some breakfast tacos. That's an easy breakfast for two or three days depending on how many's there. Try it and see if you like it if you haven't already. Thank y'all for watching and subscribing. I really appreciate it. I'm enjoying this. And I hope that y'all are learning a few little things along or being reminded of a recipe that Mama or Grandma made that you need to make all over again. Take care of yourself. Be very careful. Talk to the good Lord. Talk to Him a bunch. And I'll see y'all back here in a day or two with probably a good casserole.